Hello, welcome to OS Engine Tutorial 111. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find out the uh, the number of images available uh, at the pixel level. Basically, for example, if you want to find out how many lens set images for your study area or how many Sentinel images, it doesn't matter. Uh, it can be any image action available within the Earth Engine uh, catalog and we're going to calculate uh, the availability of uh, satellite images at the pixel scale and uh, at the global scale or regional scale or uh, uh, local scale and so first let me show you the result uh, what the final result will look like it will be something like this so for example this would be uh, the result of a lens set 8 imagery uh, across the globe uh, since 2013 right so you can actually find out, for example, at a specific location, how many images are available for that location. So, uh, this is at a global scale, but uh, you can also uh, do whatever location you want. For example, I want to find out uh, the available number of uh, satellite images for North America, right? You can do that, and you can also have a color bar at the lower right corner here to show you, for example, the images. And clearly, you see that this aligns very well with the satellite orbit. Uh, so the pass and also raw so you can see uh, some of the intersections you have a higher density uh, darker color uh, red color that means you have more images so uh, if you're moving towards the high latitude you're going to get more and more images especially uh, near the north and the south pole because in the north you get a lot more because uh, the area is much smaller so you get a lot more overpasses um, for high latitude locations if you're near, near the uh, 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 low latitude, you get uh, a smaller number of images. Okay, so next I'm going to show you how we're going to get this one step by step. First, let's go to uh, gmap.org uh, to download the notebook example. So click uh, notebooks and then control N to scroll down to the end. Click number 111, image count, and then just click save. So save this one to your computer, hit save. Then you can open uh, this one using uh, Conda. So I'm going to Conda activate. Yo, and just Jupyter Lab. Open Jupyter within your browser. And then we can start opening the notebook. So double click, open the notebook. So uh, it's a quite simple uh, tutorial. So first we need to import the libraries. Keep in mind um, here, we also want to import the gmap color maps because we want to create the color bar so we can utilize that uh, without having to know what kind of color palettes that we need to provide so just import the libraries and then uh, you might need to update the package um this is a new feature that i just add uh added a couple days ago so it has not been released yet but uh need to update the package from uh, github and then let's create uh an interactive map so from here uh there are two ways. If you don't care about the location, you want to get a global uh, view, then you don't need to draw any rectangles. So first, let me just show you uh, the global scale. So you're going to pass a region. If I don't draw anything, um, this one will be none. So bring you here, for example, and then I can print out this to show you. Here, just print out region uh, because it's none. So let me see, is none? Yes, I should because I haven't uh, draw anything here on the map and then uh, we're going to figure out in this case lane set 8 action 2 right since 2013 so i'm going to find out for example uh, what's the available number of images at each pixel location since 2013 for the entire data catalog so what you need uh, is actually to define uh, the collection what kind of collection so this one uh, you can change it to any image collection for example sentinel modis whatever uh, you want to calculate and then this is the highlight so we're going to use this function called image count image count uh, you can press shift tab to bring the help documentation so there are a couple of parameters the first one here is the collection so this is the image collection we're going to find out the second one is the reason so if you don't pass in the parameter it's going to be none so it's going to be at a global scale you can also do the start date and the end date right so you can 
uh, specify if you want to find out the specific year, specific uh, season, and then you can do that as well. The last one here is the click. So if you specify a reason, do you want to click the images exactly to the boundary of the uh, the region? If yes, it's going to click. If otherwise, it's not just because satellite imagery uh, is satellite thing. Sometimes we go out of the boundary, right? It's not going to be a perfect uh, rectangle. So if you want something to be perfect, uh, aligned with your boundary, you can click uh, it to two. Okay. So this is exactly what we are doing here. We're passing the Landsat 8 image collection. And for the reason uh, we don't specify, it's going to at a global scale. And then we want to find out, for example, here, 2021 January 1st to 2022 January 1st. So basically this is kind of one year. Uh, the end date is exclusive, so it's not going to be included. Basically this is what we are trying to find out is uh, the number of available images in 2021 at the global scale, right? And then clip equal to false. That basically means that we don't want to clip. That's it. And once you run the function, uh, this will be the final output image. And so from here, we are going to specify the visualization uh, parameters. So from zero all the way to uh, six, let me execute first because it might take some time to uh, get the result. And I'm going to show you here, right? Um, minimum zero, maximum 60. And the palette we're going to use is the cool warm. So if you see the map here, lower right corner, right? This is the color palette, basically uh, the color map. And you're welcome to change to anything, right? So if you don't want this one, you can just delete and then just press uh, tab on your keyboard, TAB. Uh, it's going to bring up the list. So there are a lot of uh, color maps available for your selection, right? I think uh, over 200. So you can just select whatever you want and then that's it. And then execute. Uh, you should be able to uh, create a color bar like this uh, later. And so once we have the visualization, then we can uh, add the image to the map. So this will be the uh, object. And this will be the visualization uh, parameters. And the last one will be the layer name. So you can go to the layer control. You'll be able to see here the layer name. They can turn the layer on and off. Plain state eight uh, image count. And we lastly we also add the uh, country. Uh, boundary uh, because it, otherwise it sometimes might be difficult to see uh, where uh, the location so it'd be nice to add the image collection uh, the feature collection and we set the style right just want to uh, we don't want to fill the uh, the polygon just the outline and then we add this one to the layer and lastly we add the color bar so this is where this one is showing in here and the color bar is very simple you just need to pass in the visualization parameters so basically it gets from here right minimum maximum palette right so 0 60 also the title the title basically is the label and that's it right so now you can see we have the uh, uh, the final outputs keep in mind because this is at the global scale and there are lots of uh, millions of, of images available for this data set so it takes a while to actually to load up but you can really see the pattern here right increasing from low attitude uh, near the equator to high latitude right and the red the the darker the color means uh, the more uh, the larger the number of overall images right so you can see if I zoom in you you see uh, it's actually uh, showing up uh, gradually and if you want to find out the exact number how many images uh, you can click the inspector tool so if I click this one and then I click on the map uh, on the right here is going to show you, for example, 36 images, right? So roughly, um, every month you get three images, right? And it, the higher the latitude, the more number you're going to get usually, right? So if you click this one, you get 61, right? So if you go in the blue area, you're going to get much less. The reason that you get more because uh, different orbits, so the orbits sometimes have some overlap, right? So you get an overlap there, but if you just most of the time, Right, you get 21. So this one only like 21 images and 29. So most of it will be ranging between um, 20, right, 40, right. So the red color, 68. If you're moving towards the north, for example, uh, let's say green lane. If you click, uh, it's not showing up here. So let's click this one, like 202, right? I almost. I uh, over two hundred, I'm a sweet two two ninety ninety five. So there are a lot of uh, images available in the 
high latitude okay in moving towards near the equator i'm going to make much smaller i right? only three images right? and especially even near uh, because uh, let's say only other quiet images uh for land area it doesn't have images for ocean uh, there might some exceptions but most of those uh, i only have a very small number so it's right for the entire uh, at a global scale so this is how we can get this kind of image counts so if you want you can just simply re replace this collection with any other collection you want right as i mentioned uh Moldis, sentinel um any any you like right so this is how you can create uh, this kind of a uh, uh, data just within a couple of lines of code okay so this is at a global scale so next i want to show you how you can do that uh at uh, by providing a reason of interest right because you, you just might be just uh, there's too much data to process for the global scale so we're going to do that for a smaller area for example so i can try it out let's say here i can zoom in to a specific location and then you simply draw a rectangle on here on the map. For example, I want to look at uh, the US uh, Southeast. I want to find out how many available images within this area. And similarly, uh, the call remain the same. Uh, the only thing is that you, you add a draw a rectangle here on the map, that's it. And then uh, if you want this one, right now the reason is no longer uh, none because I draw one. If you want to see what's inside, you can use the dot uh, get info to see the coordinates for this rectangle right so five uh five points and after that everything else remain the same right so we're going to use the length set eight uh, collection from here uh if you want you can change for example i want to uh clip to two uh, that means i the final image will be exactly uh, the rectangle within the ri right and so the start end there i can remain the same that's it um and hit shift enter similarly for this one here i use magma so uh the color map will be different but let's look at what happened right so everything else remain the same take a look right this is pretty quick now we have a different color map and it's exactly within our area so i can for example turn the layer right now, now it's not uh, you don't see the country boundary because it's a very uh, tiny area but you can see this is how you can create this kind of satellite imagery very very easily let's say i want to do something very similar for uh europe right draw a rectangle that's it and everything the call remain the same only thing that's control here is this one so uh let me maybe create a map and one all below Oh, I, because I already created the map, so it, it need to actually be a new one. So let me show it here. Draw another rectangle, and then run this line, line below. Take a look. Now, so now you have different results for different area, right? So you can customize. It doesn't have to. It does not have to be a rectangle. Uh, it can be. Uh, just a simple rectangle right so I can and go back to here on this one take a look right uh, here because uh, I, I I did not recreate a map so you want to see two color bars but uh, and one from the beginning to the end uh, I'm going to get just one color bar right so that's all for uh, this video i hope you find it useful uh, because you might have seen some of these uh, uh images from some uh papers publications you might be wondering okay how do i create and this is exactly what you can do to create those kind of maps to show the availability of our uh, satellite images for a specific location specific uh, uh, season or year for a specific location at a pixel pixel level Okay, thank you very much for your attention. Yeah, bye-bye.